thanks for joining us here in Geneva for the AI for Good Global Summit 2019. My next guest is Harry Claw, he's Chief Executive Officer of Beyond Imagination, a company that uses avatars and robotics to help solve some of the world's most pressing problems. Basically all about helping deliver the UN SDGs by using technology. Yes, uh, I think there's enough capital, enough intelligence and enough equipment in the world to solve those problems. The issue is moving people around oh, fast yeah. enough. So this technology in part could help solve most of those problems by bringing the talent where it's needed instantly. So instead of taking, say, a day or more to travel from Los Angeles to the heart of Africa, how about four minutes? And instead of just bringing one doctor, how would I put a robotic avatar there? And it could be every doctor, every engineer, every teacher, basically everyone you need when you need them. Okay, so you're here to chair a panel on the use of robotics for good. Uh, what's your key message then? So my, my key message in that panel is, is that instead of thinking of robotics as something that it is driven by AI, it should be a partnership between humans and AI for the robotics. Now in our case, we, there is AI, but it, it never makes any of the decisions. You do. And in other cases, a lot of people program AI to operate the, the robot. But part of the message for me is make sure that whatever you're doing, it's not only doing it for good, people shouldn't be thinking about AI and robotics to replace humans, they should be thinking of them as a tool to enhance and better humanity. At the moment, there are debates around the fact that a lot of the uh most innovative technologies we are uh, developing today and robotics in particular comes from uh, those large tech groups based in the US for instance not just but in China as well of course but how can we ensure that technology um, is basically a tool for inclusion and is not just at the hands of those large tech groups for instance or people in the most developed countries so uh, it's funny you ask that question so in part uh, while well, I'm running Beyond Imagination, one of the first things I did was uh, create uh, the Avatar X Prize, which literally now has 70 teams around the world from almost every like part of the world uh, to develop robotic technologies. In this case, to fulfill part of my dream, which is robotic avatars. But at the same time, those companies uh, will that don't win um, will continue to spin out. So in a way, it's to to help all those other countries develop robotics. You have a very interesting personal journey, haven't you? Um, you were born, you explained to me earlier, with your legs uh, facing backwards. So yeah. um, tell us a bit more about that and how technology has helped you and was a real guiding pr principle uh, throughout your life to help your own existence, but that of others as well. So for, for me, in fact, the, the reason I, I have this position is when I was born, my legs were 210 degrees backwards, both of them. And actually the doctors, the experts all said, that's the way it would always be. So it was actually through my, my mom working with me to physically just correct that. So as I was growing up, I always imagined what would it be like if, if you could have an alternative body and act through it, which is what's led me to this point for beyond imagination. But it also led me on a journey because the tech didn't exist uh, when I was a kid in my, when I'm in my 20s, even in my 30s. So in part, I've been involved in various technologies from the International Space University to being in the founding team with Peter for the X Prize to being in the founding team for, for Singularity University. Uh, and my entire life has been in terms of advancing my knowledge of technology as well as storytelling. Because if you can't tell a good story, then you're not going to be reaching the public and uh, everything becomes a black box. And talking of storytelling, you're also chairing a panel on science fiction, aren't you? So what would it be all about? Right, so that's the, the flip side. I've always taken a Leonardo da Vinci approach to life. Uh, so I think you should develop the right side and left side of your brain. So that panel, I'm bringing in uh, a mix of futurists and uh, science fiction writers uh, and uh, Philip, the creator of Second Life. Um, and first, have a discussion about AI and robotics, uh, what we're calling the, the good, the bad, and the beautiful, uh, and to discuss in the future uh, how to prevent the bad, and the way you do it is by anticipating it. So how important is it for you then to go to a platform like the AI for Good Global Summit to meet other like-minded people? So I think it's critical actually for, for people like me, for artists to come, for people who aren't just an AI programmer, 
you know, uh, politicians, leaders, so that, uh, again, it doesn't become a black box. My biggest concern, and the reason, in fact, I'm doing this panel is also because of uh, ethics and morals and the decisions that need to be made so that uh, who is controlling us? Is it a bunch of programmers like in Czechoslovakia or, or Silicon Valley? Because um, shouldn't it be the, the leaders um, and ourselves who are making these decisions? Okay, Harry Claw, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.